It's one thing to build a landing page, but it's a whole other thing to actually promote it so you can get quality subscribers on your email list and into a community that you actually own. But getting traffic to your landing page can tend to feel a little bit overwhelming. Let's go ahead and walk through how you can get that traffic for free without that overwhelm and without being too salesy about it. I'm Angel Marie from ConvertKit. Let's get started. Promoting a landing page is so essential for your business due to the increase in ROI or return on investment. Now, since many of your business expenses will stay the same, regardless of your promotion effort, your ROI gets higher with each sale. You can build a landing page to grow your email list so you can connect with those subscribers and sell your future products. No matter the channel, driving traffic to those landing pages is about providing value to the right audience. So I'm going to go ahead and give you seven free ways to drive traffic to your landing page this very month. Number one, share relevant landing pages with email subscribers. While it's true that you often use landing pages to widen your audience, they're also useful for deepening relationships. Go ahead and check out creator Jessica Abel, who uses an email to direct attention to the waitlist landing page of her Creative Focus Workshop. The email calls attention to the challenges her audience faces, and it shares stories and tips from her very own students. Number two, reach out directly. While automation is wonderful, reaching out to people you think can help or that you admire or that have joined your list establishes one-on-one -on -one relationships. Using something like the ConvertKit community, for example, gives creators a place to ask questions and share what they've learned. Number three, use social media. Social media marketing holds a lot of potential for driving traffic to your landing page, but it can feel difficult to get it right. Rather than slapping a link on your Facebook or Instagram story once, use social media to share your knowledge to help people for free before asking for anything in return. Now to do this, you can do things like provide free lessons on YouTube, you can share tips on Facebook, help people get to know you on Instagram, show behind the scenes on Twitter, create short videos on TikTok, and so much more. Number four, use forums. Online forums and discussion boards are handy for both market, research, and promotion. Now to research, see which questions and topics come up most often. For promotion, aim to make your resource complementary to your post and not your sole reason for showing up. You should spend time really engaging with the community outside of your promotion to avoid setting off those super salesy alarms. Number five, create your very own community. If you want to take social media a step further, you can create your own Facebook group truly focused on a specific topic. Having your own community gives you a little bit more control here than visiting other forums. Here's an example of that by Freedom Seekers who created themed days in their community, making it easier to decide what to post and give members a true chance to promote themselves occasionally. Number six is all about content marketing and SEO. Content is a great and a free way to share your expertise with new people. Creating high quality pieces focused on the keywords potential subscribers are looking for helps you rank in those search engines. You can even choose blog posts related to your resources to promote your landing pages on, just as creator Tessie Faye did. And last but not least, number seven, be on podcasts. Hosting or appearing on a podcast gets your story and perspective in front of an interested audience. Plus, guests typically have a chance to shout out their website and their product on the podcast's site. Take creator Jay Claus, for example. Having a podcast gives you exposure to a new audience, and on top of that, it's just overall fun. All right, so we now talked about the seven ways to drive traffic to your landing page. Let's go ahead and cover what that looks like to build a landing page in ConvertKit and share it. The first thing you'll do is click on landing pages and forms, then head to create new and click landing page. Next, choose your landing page template. You can even filter the search by category to get more specific with the landing page design you prefer. From there, you can choose the template of your choice. Next, you'll start customizing your landing page. Go ahead and give it a title, a high converting headline, a descriptive copy, 
a high quality image that you can upload from any of these three options from your computer, Unsplash, or even Instagram, and then go ahead and write a strong, customized call to action in your own voice to encourage visitors to subscribe. You can even utilize the convenient content block that appears on the left in certain parts of the landing page editor and add more creative components to your landing page, like additional imagery, links, icons, or feeds. When you're all done customizing your landing page, you can set up an automated incentive email that will send for you the minute someone clicks on your call to action button to subscribe. In today's example, we're giving away a free checklist. So to automatically deliver that freebie, You'll just need to head to Settings, Incentive, upload your freebie or paste the URL link to it right here. Then you'll simply head to where you can edit the incentive email content by clicking here. You can customize this email to your liking by adding a personalized subject line, personalized email body content, and even editing the button that subscribers will click on in order to get the freebie that you had promised. When you're all done, You'll click Save, Save Again, and then head to Share so that you can share your landing page to the public and get them on your email list. Feel free to try it out for yourself by heading to the link to sign up for ConvertKit for free right down below. Until next time, keep creating.